Hello everyone. In this section, we will show how to do the process layout. Process layout basically is a process that we allocate business unit, department, or machines to the right location within a facility so that either we can minimize the overall cost, transportation distance, or we can satisfy the required closeness reading, which means that some unit or some department should be close to each other, some others need to be stay far away from each other. Let's take a look at examples and uh, see how this should be achieved. Now the first example, we're trying to minimize the transportation cost or distance. Now here we have three locations. A, B, and C. And we have three departments, one, two, and three. The question basically asks us, how should I allocate these three departments, one, two, and three, to the three available locations, A, B, and C, so that overall transportation cost should be minimized? Now, we have the three locations, A, B, and C. We also have the corresponding distance between these locations. So A and B has a distance of 20 meters, A and C has a distance of 40 meters, and so on. So how should we allocate the three departments, one, two, three, to these three available locations? The general rule is we allocate the department pair which has the highest workflow, here is 170, to the locations that has the shortest distance, which is 20 here, which means we want to allocate department one and three to location A and B. Why should we do that? Because the total distance traveled will be the distance multiplied by the corresponding workflows. So here, the workflow of 170 means there will be 170 travels between department one and three. Now, if we allocate them at location A and B, the total transportation distance will be 20 times 170. Of course, this will be the lowest if we allocated these two departments into B and C and A and C, then the travel distance will be much, much higher. So basically the allocation process will be, we pick the department pair and which had the highest workflow and allocate it to the location pairs that has the shortest distance and then we do the next. We pick the next work, next heaviest workflow department pair and allocate them to the next shortest distance location pairs. So at here, we want to allocate department two and three to location B and C. Now here, when we see we allocate department one and three at locations A and B, we do not know which one should be A should be at A, which one should be at B. We only know these two departments should take the corresponding two locations. But after we assign these two department pairs, we know that department three should be allocated at location B. Why? Because if department three is located at location A, then we cannot satisfy the second condition, which means two and three should be located at B and C. So the only way that these two requirements are satisfied is department three should be at B. And of course, the next will be straightforward. Department one should be at A and department two should be at C. So this will be our final solutions. So one, two, three, the three departments should be allocated at A, C, and B. These are respectively. These are the
best allocation plan that can minimize the total transportation distance or transportation cost. Next, let's take a look at a closeness rating example. Here again, we are trying to allocate some department. We have six departments, one, two, three, four, five, six. And we try to allocate them to a two by three set of locations, so which means it's two by three, two rows, three columns. So that's the locations we need to allocate this six department. However, here we do not have any information or requirement of the transportation distance or transportation cost, but we have a closeness rating table that is shown here at the chart. Basically, this chart shows, well, how closely the two departments should be allocated. For example, we have code A, E, I, O, U, and X. If two departments are, are, are assigned a code of A, for example, 1 and 2, their relationship or the code is A, that means these two departments should be absolutely assigned next to each other or as close to each other as possible. If the code is E, for example, department 2 and 3, then it is very important to assign these two departments close to each other. On the other side, if two departments has a closeness code of X, like 3 and 4, then it is very undesirable to allocate these two departments close to each other, which means we try to allocate them as far to each other as possible. So this is basically the closeness rating or the closeness requirement. Now, how should I allocate this six department into the six locations so this table requirement will be satisfied? Now, we need to be sure is it will be ideal that all this relationship be satisfied. But sometimes we may need to do some compromising because not all of them can be satisfied at the same time. So there will be a heuristical rule which says that we assign the critical departments first because they are the most important. So the first step we want to do is we try to identify what are the critical links or the crit critical requirement. For us, the critical requirement are, well, links of A, which it is absolutely necessary to allocate two departments close to each other, and X, which is undesirable, which means we want to assign the two departments as far away to each other as possible. So from the table here, we identify six A links, and we pick up the six links from the chart. And at the same time, we identified three X-links out from the table as well. With this table information, the next step is we try to construct the, the basic relationship chart. So we start from the A-link table. We first identify among the six departments, six is the department that has been involved in more A links than any other department. Six actually is included in three of the A link, three of the six A links. Now, this actually tells us six has the highest requirement to be located in the center of the other locations, so it can be close to other department as many other departments as possible. So we start from 6, which is surrounded by 2, 4, and 5, which are the three departments that should be allocated close to 6. Then we fill up the chart with the rest of the A links, 1 and 2, 1 and 3, and 3 and 5. So this will give us the A link chart. So that is basically the relationship we want to maintain. 6 need to be close to 2, 5, and 4, and 1 need to be close to 2 and 3. 3 need to be close to 
1 and 5. Next, we can construct the X-link table. Basically, this tells us which department should be allocated as far away to each other as possible. Now we have three links, 1 and 4, 3 and 4, and 6 and 3. These are the pairs that should be absolutely stay away from each other. With this given information, now it basically gave us a hint. So from the X-link chart, it sounds like 1 and 3 should be stayed away from 4 and 6 as far as possible. Now, our given locations is actually is 2 by 3 locations. It basically tells us we need to allocate 1 and 3 at one end of the locations and 4 and 6 at the other end of the locations, just as we arranged here, 1, 3 here, 4 and 6 here. And in the middle we put 2 and 5. Now the reason we put 2 on the top, 5 at the bottom, because the previous closeness reading actually tells us 5 should be more closer to 4. And of course here, the diagonal is considered as close as well, 